I'm so nervous about this. All right. Your artwork must now include... What all of you know is that you're here to create artwork in five hours. But what you don't know is what you'll be using as inspiration for your art. Mm. Shall we take a look? Born ready. Sure. No. <laughs> Blindfolds off. <laughs> Let's go. There's a panda bear wearing a dapper oh. button-up oh, shirt yeah. by the looks of things. A menswear panda. Very, very beautiful tonally matching noggles and a button-up shirt, black shirt, cute buttons. Let's go. Time has started! Let's go! Oh, I'm behind the eight ball today. <laughs> Woo! When I saw the panda, I thought, oh no, because I've never thought about pandas before. And now that I've had a little bit of time to sit on it, breathe, mull, I've thought, okay, actually, there's a lot here because they've got great shapes. They've got the spots on them, the spots, the spots, the spots. They're quite graphic. So I thought, let's go spotty. What I'm gonna make is a all spotty panda experience portrait. Most of my work tends to be very uh, chaotic and slightly violent. I can't do something violent featuring a panda because it's a panda. It's one thing slapping a pumpkin and or having violent pieces of macaroni. But uh, I don't know, I don't want to kill a panda. It's a, it's a freaking panda. I decided to stretch beyond my comfort zone uh, and try to make something that's focusing on the, the shirt that the panda's wearing and maybe doing something a little bit kind of menswear inspired. There's going to be an animated portal where a panda is blended with the noggles and then we uh, see a menswear catalogue style shoot of a number of different fits. We'll be editing it all together, mixing a little bit of a beat, I think, and then we're gonna hopefully have a video within five hours. So when I saw the panda, what happened in my brain was, how do I make an artwork about a panda that is gonna be achievable in a day? And then my second thought was a pandemic. And then my third thought was a pan full of pandas. But then my fourth thought, an image that I'm gonna call pandemonium. So this is the inspiration, a page from the ultimate alphabet where everything in the image starts with the same letter. So I'm gonna build a box in 3D and I'm gonna populate it with a cast iron pan and a panda. And then I'm gonna slowly go through and start adding different things. Cast iron pan, panda, pantone, pancreas, bonanza. I'm just gonna like throw as many things into a still life that start with pan and just see what happens. Back, let's go. I've got a little surprise today for the artists. We need to tell you about something. It's a secret from the artists and it involves three different balls, what we are calling curve balls. So let's break down our curve ball, Beck. Number one curve ball is a bowling ball. Now, this is a heavy item. I did buy it for $20 off Facebook Marketplace and I think that was a really good buy. Great buy, Beck. Um, second curve ball is a big, this is so small, it's so a small. beach ball. A small beach ball because I don't understand scale on the internet. Third, Curveball is the classic table tennis ball. This one's the hardest. That one is the <laughs> hardest. Once the artists decide which curveball they will take, it'll be their choice. It'll come with their instructions. We're gonna have a little sing-along for Guy's birthday, but then we're gonna give some presents to the artists. And those presents are these curveballs. So this is the panda necklace. Got my ears, my eyes, my mouth, and my collars. But I've got to start the background. So that's going to take me a little minute. I am working on a morph uh, between a pair of noggles and a panda bear, which explodes into our menswear catalog. I always just like this sort of almost Warner Brothers-y sort of zooming circles motif. It's always interesting to me. In Cinema 4D, I am setting up my base model. So I've got adorable panda that's made out of like a clay kind of texture, and I've got an adorable pan that's made out of a clay texture. I have to put them in a corner, make fucking Shitloads, popcorn shitloads. And then I'm going to art direct it with some lighting, get it looking pretty good. I'm going to render something by 12. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday.
Happy birthday to you. It is indeed my birthday, but uh, I have some gifts for you. What? Oh. Bring out the curveballs. Oh, oh no! No, I knew that. No. I thought we were just going to eat cake and be merry. Artists. Yes. <sighs> Three curveballs, one for each of you. I'm going to give you a minute to decide and we'll deliver the associated instruction to your workstation. Ooh. Your one minute starts now. So you, you want that one? Well, if you want that one. I don't mind. I was letting you decide. What are you going to do? I'll take the I'll take the beach ball. Thank you. Okay, John. Well, I've got an instinct as to which one I would like, but I'm kind of happy for you to choose. No, I'm not falling for that trap. I think I'm feeling the bowling ball. I am too. Well, you know what? Can I gift it to you, my friend? I shall take <laughs> This is great. It's like reverse 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 <laughs> psychology. Okay, I've got an idea. Yep. I don't have any idea. I'm so nervous. We, we got a curveball. <laughs> You've chosen... The table tennis. The beach. The bowling curveball. Interesting choice. Your artwork must now include one of the colours on your beach ball. Asterisk. Your chosen colour cannot already feature in your artwork. Fine. Your artwork must now include any numbers seen on your bowling ball. Oh, that's easy. That's nothing. Your artwork must now include a reference to any of the below. Tables, tennis, easy, table tennis, easy. Love you. Thanks. Table tennis, Lonnie. Could you imagine? Kind of ruins my pandemonium though. Well, I've never used these before. So let's just hope it works because I don't have a backup. <laughs> okay, let's just go. Oh. Oh no. Because there's not a punchline in my artwork, maybe the solve is to try and create a loop rather than trying to create something with a beginning, middle and end. Let's try this one. What am I going to do? I'm making this scene with a dynamic system and whenever you do that, you just sort of like tweak some dials, hit play and let it rain. And I'm finding it very hard to get an aesthetically appealing thing. I like the big boy. Ooh. Is it just the white? Okay. Blue. I thought it was black. Oh, oh. Okay. We're going with the black dots. And that's why Photoshop exists. I can copy the shape of the black dots and then make them white and then sub in the white dots. I can't see on the best of days. Oh dear. 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 Oh, dear. Oh, dear. oh shit. Oh no, come back. Two hours to go. Ready? I heard you have solved your ending. Okay, so I think I have. Uh, and I've solved the ending by not having an ending, but by creating an infinite loop. Infinite loop. Infinite loop. We end on our sexy menswear bathing koala man. Pa panda man. <laughs> We're going to cut to a close-up with a cheeky wink. Uh, and then from that wink, we're going to loop back into the portal from the beginning of the piece of artwork. Great song. Boom. And I got to a point where it looked semi-good, and then I deleted the tag that is running the simulation, so I wasn't dealing with like mathematics anymore. And I've taken the things that weren't looking good or weren't working or wigging out, and I've slowly started moving them into different positions and started to art direct this in the chaos. So I kind of got halfway with the particle system, and now I'm doing the rest manually. Love it. Love you. Love you. Julia, just saved your life. You got one hour to go. 
I added the panda with the noggles flying towards the screen solely because I wanted to create a more interesting transition between the portal and the menswear and I had a little bit extra time so I thought that like fully animating this panda in 3D would be kind of interesting. I used the black dots and then I drew them all in, pulled the saturation back, up the exposure and they look like white dots. I love the pandas now. The objects I put in quite late, so the pancakes, the pancreas and the pants. I like that kind of natural clay colour. John, have you made it? Sorry, I thought you were coming for a high five. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm going to go and make a charcuterie for my dear beloved artist friends and my dear beloved birthday boy and my dear beloved phone call friend. Hey Beck. Seconds to go. Are we done? Yes, guy. Meet me in the kitchen for snacks. <laughs> John's made a charcuterie board. Meet me in the kitchen. Ooh. John made two bits of art today. Oh. Wow, John. <laughs> You're amazing. Yeah. Shall we go and look at our artworks? Hooray! Yeah, just your artworks. <laughs> Let's go. Julia. Julia, can you catch my friend? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's time to reveal our artworks. Let's call it um, Pandemonium. Hey. Aye. Oh, shit. Oh, Ooh. wow. It's pa pan Panto Pandemonium. <laughs> I love it. Dude, this is wow. sick. Wow. The ping pong ball, is that your? Yes, yeah, my panda ping pong, that's Aye. that. <laughs> Hell Very yeah. well done. Found out what a pancreas looks like today. It's that little slug looking thing. This is really cool. It also looks like a little bit editorial. I love the, also the uncoloured pandas as well. When they were all panda, it just became like an absolute black and white camouflage. Yeah. Well done. Hey friends. This is Panda Panda McPanda. Oh, oh yeah. It is Panda Panda McPanda. So, um, I, had to, also, I, had to, I had to put like ten? ten in there because oh. that was on the bowling ball. So they're the little bowling balls with tens on them. Whoa, well, whoa! Well, let's talk about these little did the you, motor pandas. Is that a clay? Did you type? sculpt those? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I did. Cool. Over some styrofoam balls. My white paint didn't work, oh. so oh. I had to do that digitally. Unfortunately, that was really? a bit of a disaster. Hang on, so that's all, digital. All of those are digital. Well, just the white paint. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. worked quite well. Woo! <laughs> this is. Uh, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but we're calling it the Lo-Fi Men's Bear Edit. Oh my god! <laughs> good. Really good. It's so <laughs> especially that. Freaking good. I was so worried that it wasn't <laughs> funny at all. I'm, I'm just like, uh, there's no punchline. No, it is. The music that goes along with it is like a little bit awkward. It's really, really good. Where's your curveball? Okay, so my curveball, the beach ball, was that I had to include a colour from the beach ball in the film, oh. which really oh. fucked with my I... two tone colour palette that I had going on. Oh, was it so, the green knickers? The green knickers and the beach ball appear in the third menswear. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Happy birthday, guys. 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 Happy birthday, guys.